an opening with Chief Joe Alphonse. He's our tribal chairman, and he's also the chief of the Anaheim Indian Men. Have an honest, an honor to be here. The Chatting men are on carrier territory. Our war chiefs, uh, five of them, buried here on their land, their territory. With the federal government wanting a pardon for Louis Riau and the six Chilcotin chiefs. Five of them are here, six one the newest minister. And we had considered that, and at the time, Chief Irvin Charlie who was a uh, tribal chief, and I talked to him about the call. And as a nation, we had, we had thought about that, seriously considered it. But at the end of the day, our nation said, no, we don't want a pardon. A pardon is an admission of guilt. These guys didn't come into, as lots of saying said, we meant war, not murder. These guys, it was an honor to lose your life for protection of your land, protection of your women, children. These warriors, when their life was taken, it gave our nation an identity. The Shafon people, that's the first thing we're taught. They came in, they came in under a flag of truce to have peace discussions, peace accord. There was much debate within our nation. Told don't go in there. They're not going to, they're not going to be honorable. Lots of Sain and his crew said, we have to try. You know, I'm just honored to be here. I'm to, to represent my community, community of Lepin Co. and Am. To have that honor, that distinction, at a time when we're the very first First Nation to win title in Canada. You know, this, this gives hope for a better future. You know, we have fought in court. We've sat there day after day hearing professionals, or so-called professionals, try to dismiss us as, as, as a people. One of the things that always sets me off is to hear Somebody introduce a, a professional, an expert, and then the, girl, the guy will come up and say the nomadic way, the nomadic way of the Chilcotin, the nomadic way of any First Nation. Right there, I think those that so-called expert, if there's a window nearby, I'd throw them right out that window. Not there, no expert. Nomadic is somebody that's starving, that's running around naked looking for bugs to eat. That was never us. We move from home to home to home. On average, every Chilcotin person has at least five different homes in our territory. We move selectively with the season, depending on salmon run, depending on hunting conditions, winter conditions. And it was a pattern year after year after year. Our war party here, we're so complex in our custom, our war party, if you were a warrior, you just didn't become a warrior. You didn't just wake up one morning and say, I'm a warrior today, you no. Know, you had to learn to fight, you had to learn to be disciplined, you have to be spiritual because you were ultimately willing to give up your life at any moment for the protection of land, your people. Some of the warriors specialize in making arrowheads with different rocks, different. Some of the warriors specialize in healing. 
So if anybody is injured, there's a warrior that helps with you. Some of the warriors specialize in language, so the different territories we go through, we are able to communicate with them. And always a spiritual healer, a spiritual person there. Very complex. If our war group, such as the ones that are buried here, had that type of structure, you just imagine what it was for the rest of our nation. If we move from this day forward, we want, when we say we want to reestablish ourselves as part of everyday society in a way in which we were before contact, we relied on our natural resources to be independent. We are not independent today. We're dependent on government funding. To me, that's embarrassing. Those resources have to enable us to become independent again. Can you imagine that? Every clan, every family having at least five homes. Five homes today is society of boy. We have a long ways to go, but this is a good start. We wouldn't have won that title if it wasn't for these warriors. It's 150 years ago today that battle started. Anybody ever deserves credit? These, these five warriors here and the six women who was minister, they deserve that credit. They preserved our culture, gave us our identity, and our push and desire. So, an honor, and I thank every one of you guys here. You know, it's not the ideal weather, but you all choose to be here, to be here with us. A new beginning for all of us, as far as I'm concerned. So, such a nice job. Thank you.